Good evening and welcome to our service of evening prayer for Thursday, the 29th of April. As always, we begin with our service of light, so I will light our candle. Light and peace in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, a light no darkness can extinguish. And we're going to sing our hymn throughout the, the service, How Firm a Foundation, number 527. And we'll sing the first verse now. How firm a foundation, you saints of the Lord, is laid for your faith in his excellent word. What more can he say than to you he has said? To you who for refuge to Jesus have fled. And our psalm is Psalm 114, which we say together. When Israel went out from Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people of strange language, Judah became God's sanctuary, Israel his dominion. The sea looked and fled, Jordan turned back, the mountains skipped like rams, the hills like lambs. Why is it, O sea, that you flee? O Jordan, that you turn back? O mountains, that you skip like rams? O hills, like lambs? Tremble, O earth, at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob, who turns the rock into a pool of water, the flint into a spring of water. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And now we will sing the next two verses of our hymn. Fear not, I am with you, O oh, be not dismayed, for I am your God, and will still give you aid. I'll strengthen you, help you, and cause you to stand, upheld by my righteous, omnipotent hand. When through the deep waters I call you to go, the rivers of sorrow shall not overflow. For I will be with you, your troubles to bless, and sanctify to you the deepest distress. Our Gospel is Luke six thirty nine to 49 Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Luke. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. He also told them a parable. Can a blind person guide a blind person? Will not both fall into a pit? A disciple is not above the teacher, but everyone who is fully qualified will be like the teacher. Why do you see the speck in your neighbor's eye, but do not notice the log in your own eye? Or how can you say to your neighbor, friend, let me take out the speck in your eye, when you yourself do not see the log in your own eye? You hypocrite, first take the log out of your own eye, then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your neighbor's eye. No good tree bears bad fruit, nor again does a bad tree bear good fruit, for each tree is known by its own fruit. Figs are not gathered from thorns, nor are grapes plucked from a bramble bush. The good person out of the good treasure of the heart produces good, and the evil person out of evil treasure produces evil. For it is out of the abundance of the heart that the mouth speaks. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not do what I tell you? I will show you what someone is like who comes to me, hears my words, and acts on them. That one is like a man building a house who dug deeply and laid the foundation on rock. When a flood arose, the river burst against that house, but could not shake it, because it had been well built. But the one who hears and does not act is like one who built a house on the ground without a foundation. When the river burst against it, immediately it fell, and great was the ruin of that house. The Gospel of Christ praise to you. Lord Jesus Christ. So there's several kind of uh, 
parts to this gospel lesson, several kind of parables. Can a blind person lead the blind? Won't they both fall into a pit? Jesus is talking to his disciples and he's telling them that they need to grow, they need to learn. And then he says that uh, a disciple is not above his master, but when they are well developed, they are like the master. And that is what our uh, task is, is to learn, learn from Jesus, but then to act. Once again, the disciple versus apostle. We need to be disciples. We need to be uh, sort of purifying ourselves by following Jesus' words. But more important than that, we need to act. Um, and of course, our action has to come out of our heart. You know, uh, we have to purify our hearts. We need to uh, turn our hearts and open them to Jesus so that out of the abundance of our heart will come our good actions. And when we really open ourselves to Jesus, we start to develop the will of Jesus. We start to develop the will of God, God's will for all of humankind. And so out of that will, out of our heart, then our actions follow. So uh, our doing always comes out of our being. And we need to be with Christ, open ourselves with Christ. And then we can truly be not only his disciples learning about Jesus, but his apostles acting with the actions of Jesus. Let us sing the next verse in our hymn. When through fiery trials your pathway shall lie, my grace all sufficient shall be your supply. The flame shall not hurt you, I only design your dross to consume and your gold to refine. And now let us confess the faith of our communion in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And in our prayers, when I say, Lord, in your mercy, please respond with, hear our prayer. That our risen Savior may fill us with the joy of his holy and life-giving resurrection, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That isolated and persecuted churches may find fresh strength in the Easter gospel, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That he may grant us humility to be subject to one another in Christian love, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer that he may provide for those who lack food, work, or shelter. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That by his power, wars and famine may cease through all the earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That he may reveal the light of his presence to the sick, the weak, and the dying, that they may be comforted and strengthened. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer, that he may send the fire of the Holy Spirit upon his people, that we may bear faithful witness to his resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And in our prayers, we continue to pray for those who are sick, those known to each one of us, those who are sick in our parish, those who we don't know, but who we know are suffering at this time. Particularly in our, in our um, parish cycle of prayer for the sick, Today, we pray for Marion Conlon, Vic Burden, Jean Griffin, Jim Glass, Linda Sutton, Anthony Mary, and Lori Ann Huffman. We pray for each one, and we also pray today especially for Betty George, who is, is very ill at this time. We pray for all the sick and for ourselves, that we might know the healing touch of Jesus in our lives, 
and have wholeness of being in body, mind, and spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our refugee family. We pray for Karima, for Muhammad, Fatin, and Ahmed. We give you thanks for them, O Lord. We pray for their health and safety and well-being. And we pray, O Lord, that we might be able to stay connected with them and give them hope while they wait for their coming to Canada. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Today we pray for 10 more households in our parish list. And if you're joining us from another parish or community, I invite you to pray for members of your community. Today we pray for Evelyn Orcherson, for Brent, Lindsay, Asher, Rowan and Declan Osborne, for Bob and Debbie Osborne, for Michael, Sarah, Wesley and Evelyn Otter, for Stephen, Jane and Hannah Ottman, for John Pabke, for Bill and Susan Parcham, for Charles Parsons, for Karen Pasma, and for Kenneth, Karen, Jared, Jordan, and Jeremy Pasma. We pray for each one, O oh Lord, for their well-being, safety, and health. And we pray, O oh Lord, that they might know they belong to a community of faith which cares and prays for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray in the Anglican cycle of prayer today for the Diocese of Brisbane in the Anglican Church of Australia. We pray for their bishop and all of the clergy and people of that diocese. We pray for them as they struggle with any issues that they are dealing with. And we also pray that they might be encouraged in knowing that the world is praying for them today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for another brother of the Society of St. John the Evangelist, and today we pray for Brother Jonathan Murray. We give you thanks for him, for his work, uh, for his work in animating the Fellowship of St. John, of which I'm a member. We give thanks for his words of wisdom and all of his ministry. We pray, O oh Lord, for his health, well-being, safety, and that your grace might continue to flow through him, and that he might be encouraged in knowing that people are praying for him. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray our night prayer from the Anglican Church of New Zealand. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us, and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. And we pray the collect for this week. O God, whose Son Jesus is the Good Shepherd of your people, grant that when we hear his voice, we may know him who calls us each by name and follow where he leads, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Saviour taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And now we will sing the last verse of our hymn. The soul that on Jesus still needs for repose I will not, I will not desert to its foes. That soul, though all hell should endeavor to shake, I'll never, no, never, no, never forsake. 
Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you for joining us this evening in evening prayer. We hope that you'll join us tomorrow for Compline and keep on joining us for all our evening prayers and evening services. I wish you a blessed night's sleep and all of God's blessings to you.